This is the third of five videos on a series building a sailing dory from hardware store materials. In this chapter I add some trim and clean up the hull a bit, a little bit of paint, and I strip blank a dagger board and a rudder. Before we get to the build though, let me say that my goal for this channel is to advocate for building and using small boats. This means getting to show off a little bit of how I use them. This, these are a couple images from a trip my wife and I took around the California coast with a little sailboat in the back of my pickup truck. Anyways, back to the dory boat. It starts with putting a bevel on a piece of trim that's going to go on the bow transom with the idea that it will reflect some spray. So I got my little lip cut out on this front edge and I realized I don't want to use PL Premium on this because I don't want it to foam up and have that squeeze out, fill this crack and not be able to get it. So um, I'm going to use like regular Tecton 3 even though I don't think it's going to be the best glue for uh, holding something onto the bow of a boat, it's going to get wet sometimes. Uh, type on three from my experience if it gets splashed it's fine but if you submerge it for a day or two it just turns to paper mache <clears throat> so let's see how it goes genius
Collins became so wealthy from the ham
All right, I got my seams taped up, and I got an issue for this PL cured too fast, and it made bubbles. Some of these places that are high are solid, some are not, because that cure gassed, it off-gassed, and it, and this really thin fabric retained that gas. So if I was going to do this again, I would use that black, uh, that roofing, the black roofing sealant, because I think they make a white one too, the roofing sealant. It cures real slow, so it doesn't make the bubbles like that. But, uh, so I've got a tough decision whether I tear all this off and redo it, or I uh, let these bubbles stay under here and they're going to fill up with water and create rot. Um, I mean, I've made my decision. I'm going to, I'm just going to paint right over them. I'm going to clean this up decently, not especially well, and uh, put a first coat of paint on it. But it's, it's not going to make a boat that will last forever, that's for sure. Um, I'm, I'm in a rush to get this thing done by summer. I'm, I teach high school and i got a week. It's the last week of school, and I want to take this on a summer trip. So, uh, maybe in the fall I'll peel that off and see how bad it is. centerboard and the dagger board, or a dagger board and a rudder for my cassette rudder and uh, build this up to make stock for my boards. I'm gonna go with this with an electric planer first. It's kind of nice if this is my leading edge uh, because this is six uh, s planks, six strips. I know that at that seam, I want to leave material. I want to remove material from in front of it and behind it. So that kind of helps guide me a little bit. Um, hand planer first. Let's see how it goes. Thank you. 